hey guys welcome back to xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to play around with video player inside our xamarin forms application so it will be a full stage on the landscape mode too and fully optimized so we'll be integrating this video player inside our xamarin forms application using the plugin that is our jam.forms.video player as you can see over there let's add a plugin that is jam form video player inside our shared android and ios project so this is the video player plugin that i have used and customize it as per my requirement so let's go to main activity this is the platform specific implementation for the video player that has to be on the android end and for the ios end we have this which is above the forms.init method this step is optional if you are using http url and trying to load a video then you need to go to source code editor of android manifest and add this line of code that is android use clear text traffic as true so that it can load our http request that is coming from our video player so if you are using https url then we are good to go and this is for ios configuration of NS app transport security to load our HTTP request which is to be placed inside our info.plist file you can see over here I have added that inside my info.plist with NS app transport security now let's go to the shared project here I have my home page as my navigation page with my home page as starting page here we have very basic UI with one button named as play video and then a button click event as this page is a navigation page I have a navigation bar too so I am disabling it then whenever that play video button is clicked then I will go to main page that is my video player page so this is my video player page which has navigation bar as false as I am disabling it and I will be customizing it as per my requirement so you can see over here we have a grid view and which contains a video player let me minimize this activity indicator and I'll tell about that later so this video player gets inherited from this namespace that is our plugin namespace and it has lots of properties you can just play around those properties so I'll be just adding that video player name as video player and I'll be calling that from the .cs part of main page now this activity indicator will just call this video player which will be a reference one and then if the video player is not ready then the activity indicator is going to run or else it is going to be disabled or not visible as false and then you can see over here we have a button that is a close button that will be placed at top that's all on the ui part of mainpage.xaml and inside .cs part we have very basic implementation of code that is URI video source and we are going to just keep the video player with the source as you are a video source and you can see over here we have a close button at top you can you know that right so after clicking on that close button i'm going to pause the video or close it 